This is the Inspired Podcast, and uh, it's been quite a while, so I'm doing something a little different. That's just me getting comfy in my chair. Uh, I have never podcast outside, so here I am outside. Um, yeah, I think a lot of things are really different right now. You might hear a lot of traffic. We live in the country, but it is a main road, so sometimes there's some big trucks going by. Um, yeah, so I never podcast outside. Uh, I never wear glasses, but hey, look at that. I have glasses on. <laughs> um, I never wear my hair curly, but because it's summer and I want to do less heat styling to it, um, it's curly. So there you go in all its natural glory. Also, you can see the beautiful, beautiful classy trailer behind me, which I also have never shown. Um, that's, that's the place. That is the trailer. Um, it's ugly on the outside, but pretty nice on the inside. We can't really do much with the outside because we're not planning on painting or removing decals. So that's what you get for now. It's about as good as it gets, but, um, the inside is quite lovely. We've been doing a lot of work on it lately and um, we're really proud of it and happy with it and my husband has been learning a lot of stuff about um, fixing and building and making things. He's really interested in that so that's kind of fun and um, I am definitely going to be doing a house tour soon. Um, yeah so uh, I have no idea what episode this is. I don't even know if I'm going to call it an episode. Sorry, my nose is so itchy. I don't know why. Um, I'm kind of feeling like I want to change things. I've been a little bit overwhelmed by everything that's going on with the knitting world this past year, starting in January 2019 of this year. Um, so I've kind of just not really been wanting to knit, I guess or be part of knitting lately, even though I have continued to knit. Um, right now, I'm finishing up all my projects. So I'm not even gonna show you what I did just finish because I'm not done. I have to, um, what, a, here, I'm, I'm, yeah, distracted here. I have to um, block it. Ugh block it. So I did finish the dotted raised shawl. Just, I had a little bit left to bind off the other night. Um, so I block, I have to block that and oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I finally finished binding off my Reina shawl. Gorgeous. I do have to block that aggressively. Um, and my five-year-old daughter is in this constant state of, I never get to, and it's not fair, and you never do this, and I want that because I never had it. So she saw that I finished the dotted raised shawl, and she wants a shawl too. So I think I might give the Reina to her because it's pretty small. I don't know how much it will grow with blocking, but she really wants something. So I'm like, all right, you spoiled little punk you want something? You can have that. Um, yeah, so finish that those um, then I took out my own shawl by Andrea Mowry motorcycles going by two motorcycles three motorcycles okay um, so yeah working on the own shawl by Andrea Mowry because I had kind of let that go I don't know how far I was in the last episode if I had done much on it or whatever but since then if I haven't worked on it since then or before then, I haven't touched it until last, no, this morning, um, because I couldn't find the notes to it that I had, and I knew they were somewhere, and I did find them this morning, so I'm working on that right now, and it's just basically mostly knitting, because I'm doing the, the middle part of it, but if you haven't seen it, this is it, and I love it, it's so cool. So just working on finishing everything up and the next thing after the Ohm shawl, actually she updated it and she called it the Every Way shawl, I believe. Whatever. The Ohm shawl was completely fine, but she changed the name of it. That's her pattern. She can do what she wants, I guess. So it's called the Every Way, but I like the Ohm shawl and I think people might know it by the Ohm shawl, which kind of sucks. That's a kind of a drastic change in the name, but again, whatever. Um, I'm sorry if I'm not looking on camera, I'm just knitting, just trying to get my knitting done. And I actually wound up this skein 
of this oatmeal color. Actually, it's called River Rock by Cascade 220 Heathers, color 2441. And I did not want to take out my ball, my wine, my yarn swift or ball winder. So I kind of sat on my bed this morning and put the skein around my foot and my knee, and then I wound this ball with it. Um, so yeah, when you need to do something you and you don't want to do it, you just improvise, I guess. Um, I forget what I was saying though. Oh, okay, so after I finish this Ohm shawl, or every way shawl, I am going to go and tackle the Speckle and Pop one from two years ago, almost two years ago, the, the MCAL. And, um, yeah, gonna finish that, because again, there's really not a lot left on it, and I really want to have it finished. So, that is what I'm doing after this. Kind of exciting. Just trying to get everything, uh finished um you know and I have a couple projects that I'm going to rip out completely and over dye the yarn like the it's an Andrea Maori it was a knit along comfort fake hardy I did not do the middle along knit along but it is the comfort fake hardy and I just don't like the colors that I uh dyed it and I don't like doing fades I'm just not good at it because I want all the colors and so I am gonna re-knit that I mean I'm gonna re-dye that after I rip out all the yarn and do that. And I also, I also want to show you uh, something that I have been working on because if, you, okay, so you, if you follow me on Instagram, you can find me on Instagram, Ravelry here on YouTube. Um, I think that's it. So I was always on Instagram, Kamiko MC Knitspired, which kind of sucks for anybody who is looking at my old episodes and they are looking for Knitspired. But I wanted to change it, um, so I changed it to Kimiko MC Makes Things, because that's what I do. I've been making a lot of different things. I've, uh, like, cooking, um, I'm getting a little bit more into sewing, um, and just knitting other things, but it's not just knitting, and I kind of, like, want to, not that I had a brand, but I kind of want to rebrand it, I guess, um, yeah, so I have like all these notifications popping up on my phone and I'm very, very distracted. So I'm really sorry for not giving you my complete undivided attention. But yeah, I am going to just pause this for a second and I'm going to show you some of the um, things that I have been working on. Okay, I am back. If this is shaking at all, I have like a really, really fancy setup where my phone is perched on a homemade planter that I made from a, oh, look at me making things. I made it from a carton of almond milk. <laughs> I cut it, spray painted it, or cleaned it out, spray painted it, and then planted some of my um, plants on it because I've been really into plants lately this, um, this season. But yeah, so if the table's shaky, then that's what that is. I'm really sorry. Wow. It's funny when you see yourself in the camera, you're like, that's what I look like. Anyway, so what I've been working on is these wall hangings. You might have seen a couple, but this was, um, I'm just going to show you. This is one of them. I really don't have anything to say. I like wall hangings and um, I don't like macrame. And this is just like a free kind of knitting blown out a little bit. Um, oh, that one's having a hard time focusing or getting the right colors. I love the textures of them and oh, I love the way they look. You can just basically do anything you want with these. It's not like it has to fit a certain way or you have to get a certain gauge. You just find something that you like and you knit and that is fun. What else do we have? I've got this one, which is not finished. <laughs> it looks bare. It, I have tassels that I made for it that are, I'm gonna hang in increments across the bottom. This one, did I just show you this one? No, I didn't. I love the textures. I love it. It's so cool. And God knows I have so much freaking yarn. So that's what I've been doing is using up all this yarn because I'm feeling a little overwhelmed having so much yarn. I really wanna de-stash everything but I don't want to at the same time, so I want to use it. This one also is not finished. 
This looks a little wonky because of the different um, weights, I guess, of the yarn. So I really did relax the top of it, but it does pull in with the top. I did block it. Or I actually I steam blocked it because that's acrylic. Um, I'm not entirely familiar with what all the fibers are. This also is having tassels put in the bottom. Another motorcycle. So that's not quite finished. This one is not even finished because it's not on a dowel yet. It's just knit and it hasn't even been blocked yet. But I like that one too. And then hang something, some fringe on the bottom or the top. I'm not sure if that's the top or the bottom. I guess it doesn't matter. And then another one that I'm working on is a quite a large one, which is for myself. And it's, it's since it's on the needles still, it's really hard to see. It's not blocked at all. It's very wavy. And my daughter is banging on the screen, I mean on the glass doors. So if you hear that, that's her. So that, it's a very large, wide one, and I will explain why. So I, my sister-in-law and brother-in-law, well, my brother-in-law got married this um, May. All, my husband and myself and my daughter were all in the wedding. And for my sister-in-law's bachelorette weekend, we went to a place on Lake Huron. Um, and there was a beach there. We don't live near the beach here, which is kind of weird because I grew up in Massachusetts and then spent my entire adult life in Rhode Island so I love the water I'm used to the water and here I am now in Ontario and I am not near any water so or not like I was so we, we went to the water and we went to a cottage near the water and we were exploring on the beach and I found this kind of funky cool piece of driftwood and another one too, actually two more. One is small, it looks like an antler, so I call it a vegan antler. And it's just for decoration. And then the other one is a little bit smaller than this. It's probably about this big. And it's just got, you know, they, they have character to them. It's just a stick, but I don't know. It's kind of cool looking. It's definitely like from the beach because it's got that, that worn, eroded look. Anyway, I'm gonna take this and hang my wall hanging on this or the one I just showed you I'm gonna hang it on this probably um, on the, sh the window over the window on my side of the bed in our bedroom so that is the plan for that and um, yeah and then besides that if you follow me on Instagram again all my information is below but you probably already know how to find me if you found me here um, but if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've been um, cooking a lot too, so, which is fun, because I did take some requests for some vegan meals that aren't normally vegan, and I wanted to see what people wanted me to make. So I did attempt steak last week, which is actually pretty good. Um, it doesn't taste like a cow steak, but that's to be expected, right? <laughs> um, but it was good, uh, really good. Yeah, um, and then, I have a couple more things that people wanted me to make and I've just been making my own stuff too and sharing that stuff on Instagram and yeah that's it so I don't really have a ton happening in life as far as life stuff goes um, I actually ha haven't watched many podcasts lately um, I've been watching a lot more like other youtubers <clears throat> on Insta I mean on YouTube and not so much knitting podcasts. Um, I did get really excited the other day because the Mean Girls Knit podcast, I love them. Hello, Rebecca and Stephanie, I love them. They put out another podcast. They don't get to put out that many because they don't live near each other. So when they do, it's a real treat and they do an almost two hour podcast, which is totally fine with me. Normally I hate long podcasts, but theirs, I love their long podcasts. So girls keep it up keep your long podcasts everybody else keep them short <laughs> including me um so I got excited when I when I watched their podcast the other day I got a little inspired um and then have I watched any others I started oh yeah so I started watching round rabbit this morning um I do follow her on Instagram and she followed me back on Instagram recently we had a conversation about something 
And so I was like, she has a podcast. She seems really interesting and very well-rounded and talented. So um, I, watch, I started watching her podcast this morning. Her name is Nancy. And um, I only watched the first one. I just started on the second one. So she does all kinds of things. And she does loom knitting, at least as far as I know. Um, I know she sews and she does pottery and loom knitting, which I think is like a whole new interesting thing to me. Um, I, like, she loom knits socks, so I'm interested. I might l watch some loom knitting tutorials on YouTube. So, yeah, I'm not really back, back into the knitting podcast world. Oh, I did watch some of Volan Vines. I, I caught up on a couple of hers. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm just not really interested. Not that I'm not interested in knitting. I definitely am. But, um, just... I lost, I, I lost my mojo a while back, but, you know, I've still been knitting a little bit. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my instructions. Still knitting a little bit, and I do hope to pick it back up because once fall comes along, um, oops, once fall comes along, I know I'm going to want to do knitting and do knitting and feel cozy and do some stuff like that, so, um. Yeah, and I know there's a few festivals coming out, like fiber festivals, so I want to, I know I'm going to want some yarn, not a lot, but some, and I, I think I'm going to focus on bigger projects. Um, I got a little socked out too, although socks are great to have. Um, I do have a pair of socks on the needle bed. <laughs>